All right, y'all, here we go. I warned you this would happen. Mike Johnson, who is the uh, Republican Speaker of the House, who is like the default fallback option when nobody else could get their shit together and get enough support. Um, now, Republicans are turning on him. Quote, honeymoon is over. Marjorie Taylor Greene goes scorched earth on terrible House Speaker Mike Johnson. Quote, I'm not the Republican team player. Marjorie Taylor Greene told The Hill in a new interview published Saturday, I never have been. That much was made crystal clear throughout the rest of The Hill's one-on-one -on -one with the Georgia Congresswoman. In the lengthy interview, Taylor Greene absolutely destroyed House Speaker Mike Johnson, whom she called, quote, terrible. He went from having a voting record to literally a month later going against his own voting record and being Speaker of the House, Greene said. She added, quote, literally all of a sudden talking about doing things that he had literally voted against only a month before, before that. And you know, that was unacceptable to me, and it still is. Specifically, Green trashed Johnson for putting forth a continuing resolution to fund the government after previously voting against it. <laughs> I love that's her big gotcha. He wanted to continue to have a federal government. Disgusting. <laughs> Quote, that was the whole reason why Kevin McCarthy got ousted was working with Democrats and passing a clean continuing resolution, Green said. And you know, for me, I was like, what a hypocrisy. You don't, A doesn't belong there. You just say, what hypocrisy? Not, what a hypocrisy. Like, oh, this woman, this woman. Man. After an initial rift between the two, Green had outsized influence during McCarthy's speakership. That has not been the case thus far with Johnson. Oh, gee, I wonder why she's upset whose spokesperson told The Hill, Speaker Johnson takes into consideration the input of each and every one of the members across the conference. Green went on to make clear that Johnson has a long way to go towards winning her over. Quote, honeymoon is over, she said. So again, I want to reiterate this. She's now going scorched earth. Why? Because, quote, Green trashed Johnson for putting forth a continuing resolution to fund the government after previously voting against it. All right, so in other words, look, they have these budget fights, right? And they try to negotiate the terms of the budget so that you can get a majority to get it passed. But b the parties are so far apart now that the Republicans want all these cuts to all these different programs and the Democrats say, hell no. And beyond that, even if it got through the Republican House, it would die in the Democratic Senate if the hard right got what they wanted in these bills. So you have to be, you have to live in reality and deal with the world as it is. And so that means the far right's not going to get everything they want. They're just not. You're going to have to be a little more nuanced and a little more reasonable. So because they couldn't iron out terms for a deal, what do you default to in that scenario? Here's what you do. You go, okay, we can't agree. We obviously need more time to work something out that we could get passed. So since we're coming up against a deadline where we have to fund the government, let's just do what's called a clean continuing resolution, which means what? You take the current amount of government spending that already exists and you extend it the exact same levels, no changes whatsoever, you extend it for however long they need for a new deal, whether it's two months or four months or whatever it is, right? And that's what he did. Why? Because he's not an idiot. He realizes the country has to function, so we have to do something. So yeah, let's continue to work out our differences and do a budget process, but in the meantime, yeah, continuing resolution, it's clean. She views that as a betrayal. Why? Because she's a moron and she doesn't understand how Congress works. So look, what Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to digest, and she never has, is that Matt Gates had his moment in the sun. Lauren Boebert had her moment in the sun, where they brought up and passed, or tried to pass, I should say, their own version of a spending bill. And in that version, they cut everything to the bone. I'm talking about like home heating assistance for poor people, meals on wheels, various anti-poverty programs. Like They were just like, ax it, ax it, ax it right? Across the board, reduce it like nobody's business. And so they brought it up. This was their ideal, you know, slash government to the bone type stuff. And what happened? It couldn't pass. Now, again, even if it could pass the House, which it didn't, then it would have died in the Senate. But like, she doesn't understand that since that can't get through, you need to find a way to come up with something that can get through that can be signed into law. Do you not understand this? And so for him to do the continuing resolution just buys them more time to try to negotiate and get better terms. But of course, I guarantee you, whatever terms they end up agreeing to, even if, even if Republicans end up getting, let's say, 40% of what they want or 50% of what they want, which would be a lot considering there's a Democratic House, right? But let's say they get that. She'll still come out and be like, he sold us out! 
He sold us out. He didn't get every single thing I wanted ever. So he's poop, poop face, poop face. Honeymoon is over. You're terrible at this job. People like Marjorie Taylor Greene have no idea how to govern. People like Matt Gates and Lauren, Lauren Boebert have no idea how to govern, right? Now, on the one hand, you could say, hey, credit to them that the people who really are on the far right, they're principled. They're like, you give me everything I want or nothing. But there's a difference between being principled and being an idiot, right? Like you can be principled while also understanding the nature of reality. And you could use tactics and strategies to get more of what you want. But the idea that it's all or nothing, well, then she ends up in a situation like this where she's going to end up with no allies, nobody who supports her. She's going to be totally ineffectual with getting her own input on bills. And she's going to isolate herself. And that's what we're currently watching. So... Look, did Kevin McCarthy get a raw deal? I actually agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene that he did. Because McCarthy and Gates and Boebert, like, they agreed on all the policy stuff. It was just Boebert and Gates were like little virtue signalers who wanted to pretend like they're the only pure ones, right? And so they effectively ousted McCarthy and put his head on a platter to make an example to be like, well, we're the ones with power and clout. And so I actually agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene that Kevin McCarthy got a raw deal in the sense that they ousted him for basically no reason, but now you're doing the exact same thing to Mike Johnson. He's faced with the same realities on the ground that Kevin McCarthy faced. But look, at the end of the day, I don't know why I'm complaining here. I love it. I want to see these guys rip themselves apart, rip themselves to shreds, because they can't govern. It's been for a very long time, the reality, as long as I've been alive, is that Republicans know how to govern and Democrats get rolled repeatedly. I mean, that's always been the case. They're good at using, you know, certain tactics and strategies to get more of what they want. We saw this all the time in the Obama era, for example. But now it's like the fringe radicals have taken over the Republican Party, and they're just, not only are they idiots and wrong about everything, they're also clueless in terms of how to govern. But that actually has positive consequences, right? Because that means they can't be as effective as they once were when, like, Mitch McConnell and John Boehner were running the show, right? And so by all means, fight away. Rip each other to shreds, slit each other's throats, because the end result of that is you get less and less and less of what you want, right? That's why we had another continuing resolution. And by the way, we're going to have another one maybe after that, because I doubt they'll be able to work out uh, terms for another deal. If, they, if these people were more serious and they knew how to play politics better, then they would perhaps get a deal that's better for the right. But that's not going to happen. So anyway, more Republican civil war. It is not going to stop, and I am definitely here for it. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.